Welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be working on our currency series. On the side you should see a screenshot of what we're going to be making today and without further ado let's get straight into it. Alright so here I am in my Vigil Studio code and so what I want to start off by doing is I want to create an owner only command. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hide these things so it's easier to see. And also here you go. But basically what I'm going to do right over here is I'm going to do add bot dot command as you normally would. Then I'm also going to add decorator saying at commands dot is underscore owner meaning the only the owner of the bot can only run this and do async dev add underscore items ctx and then commands dot context. Uh, we're gonna have name, which is gonna be str. We're gonna have ID, which is also gonna be a string. We're gonna have description, it's gonna be a string, and then we're also gonna have cost, it's gonna be an integer. And so after we open that out, we're just gonna do await update underscore shop with all of these details, and then we're gonna do await ctx dot send item item you can even do delete after five seconds there we go so now that's done with our first command now we're going to move on to a second one that i'm going to do all the way down here and this is going to be your shop command and this is where you can also buy things so you'll see bot dot command we're going to do we're actually just going to copy the same cooldown that we have going on over here and then we're gonna do async def shop and then inside the shop we can do ctx is commands.context and then if we open this up we're gonna do embed equals next core dot embed and and the title is gonna be called drone shop now after we have that what we're able to do is we're gonna actually copy this line of code right here. Actually, I don't have it here. I'll just write it out. No worries. Uh, we can do async with nextcore.bot. Or sorry, not nextcore.bot, but just bot.cursor. Bot.db.cursor. As cursor. And then after we open that up, we're gonna do await cursor execute and we're gonna do select we want three things which is name description and the cost from the shop and then now that we have that we can do shop equals await cursor.fetchall and then a for loop simple for item in shop embed add field name and then over here we're actually gonna, do, gonna f string this so that's gonna be the description cost and then we're just gonna have that separately right so item two because it's an array so that's gonna just show the cost as well so maybe even add this okay and now that we have that, what we can do is we can just send the embed right, right on its way by doing await ctx.send embed equals embed. And then we're going to create a view here. So we're going to do view equals view equals shop view. And we're going to even pass in here. We're going to pass in bot. Now you'll see why. So now if we come all the way up here, what we're going to do is we're gonna create our buttons class so by doing class shop view next code dot view open up this class and then do def underscore in it self and we're gonna have two parameters in here which is gonna be self and bot open that up and then we're gonna do super dot in it Timeout equals 120, which is 120 seconds. 
and then we're going to use self dot bot equals bot. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to create three buttons, right? Because we have three items that you can buy. So each item will have its own perks, and this is not gonna. We're gonna do a part two to this buying system where we're gonna implement the cost of it as well. But we're just gonna do next code dot ui dot button, and we can do open that up actually, and just do the label equals. So the first one is gonna be laptop. Second one is gonna be style, and the style will be next code dot ui dot button. And then it's gonna be button styled out blurple. There you go. And then it's actually not next code.ui. Apologies. And then there we go. And then we can also add a custom ID. ID is gonna be laptop. There we go. And then we can do async def laptop. And then pass in self, and this is going to be the button code. So whenever, whenever it executes, when somebody clicks the button, this code will be ran. So this, we're just going to fill this out really simply. Interaction. Oops, next chord dot interaction. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do async with self dot bot dot db dot cursor and we're gonna do as cursor and that's why we needed bot for this so we can actually access the database then we're gonna do await cursor dot execute and we're gonna select a couple things so we're gonna do select laptop from inventory inv where user equals question mark then we're gonna define user as interaction dot user id There we go. So after we do that, all we can do is item equals only cursor dot fetch one, and we can do if item is none, then we're gonna put it in the so only cursor dot execute, and then we're gonna do insert into. ENV and then we're gonna do values. So values and then we're gonna have four values. So four values. And then over here it's gonna be what we want to do is one, zero, zero, and then interaction data. So it should look like this. Now we can add an else. And then inside of our else here we can do a we cursor dot execute and this time it's going to update it so update inventory set laptop to question mark not laptop plus one laptop to question mark where user is question mark and then over here we can do item zero plus one there we go and then at the end here we can do await self dot bot db dot commit and then we also send a confirmation message saying hey everything went through saying a laptop bot yeah and this is gonna be interaction instead so now that we have that we can actually just copy and paste this code so if I just copy this and we can change up a couple of the things, right? Just the most basic. We want to make it instead of laptop, a phone. Change the custom ID to phone over here where it says laptop. Just control D, phone instead, and phone. There we go. That is basically it. And as you guessed, we're going to do this one more time. So, fake ID, fake ID, okay, and then where it says laptop, or whatever it says laptop, what you can do instead is fake ID, and then over here also fake ID. 
And there we go. Now we have three fully functioning buttons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Discord and we're actually going to test it out. All right. So here I am in my Discord. Link down in the description. Please join. I'm trying to get to more members, I guess. 1.1 thousand. But anyways, if I were to check if the balance was up by doing balance, you can see that I have my balance. Now we haven't added a balance system, so it won't actually check if you have enough money to buy it. But nonetheless, we're still going to do it. And before, in testing, I already added all the items, so it's really simple. So if I were to check shop here. Alright, so that error has been fixed. That was something on my end. Um, yeah, so don't worry about that. But here, over here, over here when I run shop. You can see that I already have everything added. If you want to add it yourself, you can just do add underscore items. And basically over here, we'd have to define the laptop and then the fake uh, the ID for it. So laptop again, which is the ID. And then we want to do a short description. So put in quotations when you do the description, by the way. Over here, if I were to copy this into descriptions over here. And then the cost, so I put in 1000. This is what you write in to get this same exact thing. And then you have to do it for as many items as you want. So over here, I have three buttons. So if I click laptop, it'll say laptop bot. And that's basically it. Now you can double check with your database and you should have one in the laptop category. But that's basically it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, glow stick out. See ya.